Okay, so working on some notes again. I'm really trying to do more note fragrance, you know, uh, videos when it comes to perfumes. Talking about notes to talk, so we could see what's in them. This is this something you would want to try if you're interested in that note? Let me know how you feel about these type of uh, videos. Would you like to see more? Um, so this one, um, so yeah, I did a poll and th these two notes went out. I had two different ones, ginger and sa spicy ginger and saffron and these frangipani and tiari flower and this one out overwhelmingly that people wanted to see what I have in my collection with these two notes in it. Now, if you want to hear about them, if you're into it, if you're just curious, looking for something as we heat up, you know, stay here. Okay, so with me doing these things, I have been trying to get fragrance oils so I can get a feel for the fragrance. Sometimes you kind of know what it is because it's kind of evident. And then other times you do need to understand what it is. So let's talk about these. Now these, now as we come into summertime, Tiari flower and frangipani are used in things that kind of, you know, are for warmer weather, you know, that kind of tropical vibe, that kind of, you know, hanging out at the beach, you know, summer party vibes. Let's talk about frangipani first. This is a white floral. It is actually another name for it is plumeria. Usually you see it in Hawaii. Beautiful flower. I'll put a picture up of it. And now the thing about frangipani is it's kind of more subtle. It, they both kind of have this kind of, and I'm just being honest with you, and probably because a lot of hair grease is using, has a kind of hair grease smell to me. But it's beautiful. I love plumerias. I want to grow some in the house, but I don't know if I can make that happen. But yeah, so this is a little subtler and um, just very beautiful. And it, it gives this very tropical yet very slight citrusy, but very chill vibe to it. Now, then the other one we're going to be talking about today is tiari flower. Tiari flower is another white floral. Most of us know tiari flower when we smell it. Um, one of the other names for it is Manoy or Manoy. And um, it, is, it is in the gardenia family. And so what happens is, is that this is a very distinctive uh, scent. Most people, you when you, you get something with tiari flower and it's prominent, you definitely know it's there because it's much stronger than frangipani. So it usually shines really strongly in a fragrance and makes it and gives it a very tropical, beautiful, you know, um, island kind of vibe. So that is the Tiari flower. So now let's just talk about the fragrances that I have that have these two notes in them. What, you know, do what you want. Do you need them? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. All right. So we're going to start with frangipani because I don't have as many frangipani. I actually don't have as many as I thought, but I have a decent amount of each. So the first one we're going to talk about is frangipani. And the, the this one is here. I got to stop making that noise, y'all. Please, please forgive me. This is Dolce Garden. Now, the interesting thing about Tiari Flower is of course a lot of times it is paired with coconut and they uh, I, they wear really well together. Now Dolce Garden, I know this is just this coconut and it is very strong on the tiari flower. Beautiful fragrance for the summertime. It just sings on the skin. It's, you know, it's at the price point that it is now. It's very inexpensive. If you're looking for a very, you know, just tropical vibe just want to smell like you know you're going on vacation or if you're going on vacation and need a good fragrance dolce garden would be one to wear all right next up is this this is signorina rebel right here first up is one of the salvatore ferragamo signorinas this is like not this slept on people be sleeping on i just heard tara from opinionated since talking about it but this is really slept on this is just this this is their version of tropical it is very, it's got this ice cream accord in it. It's got the, you know, it's got this frangipani. You definitely get the frangipani. You get the florals in it. It's got this sweetness to it. It smells like a tropical dessert. 
You know, like, you know, sometimes you have desserts that have a little, flo you know, have like the edible flowers in it. That's what this feels like. Cause it's like you, if you were having ice cream, like an ice cream dessert with the little edible flowers and it was just like, you know, beautiful nights, you're sitting on your back patio, chilling with the candles on, this would be the one to wear. And it is a beautiful, sexy fragrance. Now, it does not last. However, the price is so good that it doesn't even matter. Matter of fact, I got this with lotion and a travel spray for like under $50. But yeah, so this is just a beautiful, just, just really affordable way to have a tropical fragrance. And the frangipani is strong enough so that you get that um, island effect feel from it so you get that island uh, mystique from it so that is signorina rebel and usually with the frangipanis it's a little more subtle you know um and so that's that now we have this one which is california reverie right here now a lot of people have been talking about this one recently um i heard a few people talk about it now i gotta be honest i do, I, ca I can't say a whole lot about this one it does have the frangipani in it. It is a very, this one is a different take on it though, because th this is more um, orange blossomy. It's more neroli. So it's a very citrusy and the frangipani plays with it. So this doesn't have co and coconut or anything like that. So this is a bright, fresh take on frangipani with the neroli. Now, it does not last long however i'm waiting for it to be when it to get warmer outside because i saw giselle from gb fragrances talking about that she loves it and she said in the humidity and everything it really shines so i'm waiting for that because i haven't because it hasn't been warm here yet so it gets hot outside i swear to y'all i'm putting this on i'm gonna be sitting outside i'm gonna see how it feels i want to know does it because it is such a light refreshing take on a kind of tropical vibe you know just you know it has that little tropical but more actually it does vibe like california kind of got that la kind of almost laid back vibe because the the frangipani is there but it and and there's a there's a warmth to it you know gives you that warm weather feeling without it being tropical like with coconut or things like that so it's more like like Miami or California, you know, it's more of like American warm weather fragrance. So that's California Reverie. Now let's get to getting on, on Tiari Flower. Tiari Flower, you can spot Tiari Flower. Tiari Flower be in your face like, yes, here I am. Yes, here I am. You know, and so it's very strong. You definitely smell it in your fragrances because it has a very strong, distinctive floral, which gives it this gives it this um, nice, beautiful tropical vibe to it. So let's start here. We're gonna start with Bronze Goddess, which is I'm looking at my list right here. Sorry, I'm, we're gonna start with Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. This is this is just a classic. You know, this is a classic floral, you know, sun, summertime floral, coconutty, suntan lotion. You know, it's, it gives you all of that. It's Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. It's very iconic. It's very well known. This is the EDP, and that's exactly what it is. It just has this beautiful tiari flower in it. Now, I will say this. The coconut is a little lighter. Some of my coconuts are a lot stronger. The coconut in here is a tad bit lighter, but it works well with the tiari flower. <clears throat> so next up is this one, the uh, aliens. Let's talk aliens. We have O Extraordinaire right here. Mm, this thing is so good. Now, let me tell you, these are so beautiful in the summer. O Extraordinaire or O Sublime, depends on where you're going with this. This O Sublime is brighter, fresher, more citrusy. This O Extraordinaire is more classic alien, but with the Tiari flower vibe to it. So these are very good. They both have that Tiari flower, but this is a more citrusy vibe to it. This is a more deep deep rich nighttime version so this is like your daytime alien in the summertime and this is your nighttime alien in the summertime oh sublime for the day oh extraordinaire for the evening
I'm telling y'all. <laughs> okay, then next up we have this. And this is, let me get this. This one is really interesting that I'm pulling out. Because this is Oud Velvet by Montal. Now, people don't really like this. If people don't talk about this one, this is like, yeah, no, no one's really talking about this. Now, this is an interesting one because I'm actually thinking about doing a, yeah, I'm going to do something in reference to certain fragrances I have. But anyway, this is a oud and it is a Montau oud. So it has that strong Montau oud vibe to it. It has that strong, skanky Montau oud. But as it dries down, Mm -mm. it becomes this really pretty floral and the the oud calms down and then it just becomes this like provocative oud floral this isn't rose this is about you know different florals that just make it sound smell so good oh this is so sick oh this is so good so good this just does something to me y'all this just really does something to me and is the this the Montal oud can be challenging because it is so in your face in the beginning. But if you can sit back sometimes and let and just let them dry down, give them a little dry down time, you will be like, oh my god, this is so good. So I'm telling you this now. I will say this: this is not blind buy. I would never tell anybody to buy blind buy this one because, like I said, this one definitely has a Montal oud and the florals are really well blended so the tiari is just a little out there but it's just yeah it's stunning to me just i, I really like oud velvet and then now next up let's talk about let's get some manceras in here <clears throat> if you don't know about these two manceras i don't know what rock you've been living under i don't know what rock so let's talk about coco vanille coco vanille is just that it's coconut vanilla with that tiari flower and you get that tiari flower you really do because it really just gives it that it, they all mix up and they're just like this is one of those things i promise you you wear this you're gonna get compliments people are gonna compliment you you're gonna smell just you're just gonna smell coconut vanilla floral goodness and it's it's um it's definitely got this kind of, you know, island. It's definitely got an island vibe, but what it also has is just this um, kind of like happy. It, it comes off very like happy to me. It's one of those happy things because you smell good and you smell pretty. And yeah, cocoa vanilla. And honestly, a man could wear this too because it's very coconut. It's very vanilla. You know, I could I could see a man wearing this going to a barbecue, going to a little beach party, smelling all tropical. Yes, hunty. Yes. And then of course, Holidays. Holidays is really about the tiari flower. When it comes down to it, it comes down. It is really about the tiari flower. And it's just, it. this is stunning. And you know, it is well, it's, it's hyped for a reason. Because this is like one of those things you wear in the summertime. This is when you going out. This is a going out fragrance. This is a night on the rooftop fragrance. This is, you know, if you going out, you know, y'all going travel because I ain't traveling. But if you go travel someplace and you have a romantic night and you just want to have on your strapless dress, your strapless beautiful summer dress, and you want this beautiful fragrance to come off of you where they are just mesmerized because this will mesmerize your date your partner your lover when they smell you in this in a tropical setting with the breeze and the, and the heat and this yes hunty yes just get it get it and if you don't you just you know get it now I'm going to show this one, and this is Nuda, this is Ateliers d'Or's Nuda Veritas. Now, I've just done a, you know, talked about it in my blind buys. Right now it's a mud because it just does not last on my skin, but I'm praying in the heat that it does because this is such, this is such an elegant take on 
you know, a more summery, lighter, you know, floral vibe. This is very elegant. This is very highbrow. This is very swanky. You know, if you are going out and you are being just as lush as you want to be. Now in the summertime, you know, I ain't gonna have a straight hair, but you know, having my hair big and, you know, just big and beautiful and with a beautiful sundress on and it's like one of those times where you have one of those really intimate nights where you're going to be like just vibing on each other and this is what that's for this is like one of those super romantic nights you know where you're new to veritas this is for romance this is for a summertime romance you know even a daytime romance, it would work on like, cause you can have romantic moments in the daytime. You can be having a, like a romantic lunch, whereas you're gonna be inside and it's gonna be kind of dark and you just gonna, but you know, you're gonna, you definitely giving your summer vibe, but you're gonna be in some place kind of dark and kind of like cozied up a little bit. Nuda Veritas, Nuda Veritas, Nuda Veritas. All right, now, if you for real, for real, wanna wear some, some tiari flower montau's intense tiari uh yeah when they say intense tiari they mean intense this is the most tropical fragrance i have this is right here this blows holidays away when it comes down to that tiari flower vibe the difference is um um Holidays is a little more complex. This is straight tiari flower. You spray this on. Let me just spray it on because I ain't spray shit on a minute. Yeah, it's just beautiful tiari flower. You just you just smell like you just smell like you just smell like an island gardenia. That's it. That's it. You just island gardenia. Rocket intense tiari. All right now. Oh, I forgot about this one. Let's get this one. Let's get this one. Let me make sure. Let me see some. All right. Now, this one right here. This one is totally different to me. This is a different take on it. This is 1804 by Hisuas de Parfum. This is pineapple. This is this is juicy fruit. This is pineapples and peach with tiari flower and florals in it. So it's just, it's a little different. It's if you're looking for that pineapple peachy vibe with it, that's going. So it's, that's the tropical vibe. This is where you're getting it. This is tiari flower with, with a little, with this juicy, juicy, like you just cut into some pineapple with a little peach in it. You know, that pineapple, you know how you cut into a pineapple and it's just all that fragrant juice comes out that's what this smells like and then it kind of gets a little spicier like you like grilled your pineapple so it's kind of got this kind of grilled pineapple vibe you know like that caramelization on it this is what 1804 is yes this is beautiful 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 now i have a few of them that have a little frangipani and have a little tiara so i wanted to put those those are the these are the last ones i'm going to do so let's talk about these three this is by raw spirit this is midnight pearl Ooh, y'all mm -mm. I haven't smelled this in a while, but let me tell you, this is so sexy. This is so sexy. This is definitely made for midnights. This is mm, this is so sexy. It has the mint, it has the tiara flower, it has frangipani in it. This reads truly like a tropical garden. This reads like you are in some you are in some kind you are in some place that is just warm and you've got all of those those um, island breezes coming through. This definitely is a nighttime fragrance. This, you know, I would definitely I want to they don't have cuz this is a small company. This is natural perfumery. So they don't have the um du okay it doesn't last as long as I would like it to. So my plan is to buy a rollerball of this and get some unscented body butter and make me some body butter. So when I wear this, I can layer it and it will just just be all over my skin. And I will just, ooh, this, yeah, this is gorgeous. It's got a little sweetness to it. It's got those, those tropical flowers in it. Mm. 
Now, this one right here is Tuberose number two virginal. The interesting thing about this is the tiari is there. It's a little bit more about the frangipani because the frangipani gives it a little more citrus. So with this is tuberose with tropicals in it. And so even though there's these tropical uh, these tropical flowers, the white tropicals, it's it's a it's a tuberose. But when the the air hits you and the breeze hits you, this just becomes this just beautiful white floral, tropical, more tropical white floral. That is just like makes me, I cannot wait to sit outside and have the breeze on me. I want to be around some people. So they be like, damn, what is that? Because that's how good this smells. Like if I have to go to this, like a, a the end of school year event with my, the people, my coworkers, I'm going to wear this because I, it's probably going to be outside and I just want to, I just want to smell tropical and hopefully have a tan i probably won't and you know just kill them with this two rows number two now finally this one and sadly it's discontinued but if you can find it for all those people who snatched it up last summer when when victor and roth was selling these off kudos to you this is salty flower now this is my girl coco's fragrance she had told me about salty flower and just she'd been raving about salty flower she, because it is floral but it's got that sea salty vibe to it mm. y'all know what i'm talking about that little hint of salt that makes you feel like you, the the waves are crashing you know you get you're on the beach and you got and the waves are coming in from this from the ocean and then the florals are there she says, she swears this is Bora Bora in a bottle. I've never been, but I'm a, I am ai trust my girl Coco. So this is Bora Bora in a bottle. And so this is super seductive. And yeah, this is, ugh, let me put some of this one on too. I haven't worn this in a while either because we're not this time of year yet. But mm, yes, it's got that saltiness. It's got that, that floral that tropical floral vibe to it salty flower yes mm. yes okay now i'm done these are the t these so these are my tiara and frangipani um fragrances that are in my collection y'all go and let me know about the ones you have don't tell me none that I need to get though because I swear to y'all I need to stop buying I need I, I I'm 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 not well, maybe I might buy one or two more. Maybe three. Okay, maybe five. But anyway, I'm not, I can't, I can't, I can't do nothing. I can't. I got to stop. I got to stop. All right, so that's it. That's it for today. As always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Have a great day. Talk to you later.